So you have to understand that there's a process done by man. So Jesus, therefore, becomes for us the message of God. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus becomes for us the mercy of God. Jesus becomes for us the heart of the revelation of God to us. The heart of the revelation of God to us. There's no way you will now proceed to say that Jesus taught against prosperity. Jesus never taught against prosperity. Some of the, some of the big boys he was chilling out with were rich boys. He had nothing against prosperity. You know? Joseph of Arimathea, Lazarus and the rich man. I mean, uh, Lazarus. Lazarus and his sister Mary. You know? Mary Magdalene. Herod Steward. You know, who ministered to Jesus of their substance. He hung out with those. Matthew the tax collector. Zaki. The bad boy. He chilled with those guys. He also chilled with the poor. He chilled with the sinner. Because there was no class where Jesus was concerned. Prostitutes touched him. Lepers reached out to him. He never segregated. Everybody could access him. Because God never created class. Class is man's invention. The same God is rich unto all that call up upon him out of a pure heart. There is no difference where God is concerned. Oh, I'm teaching real good. Neither did Jesus also teach against lack. He never taught against prosperity. He never taught against lack. He allowed you to make the choice. Which one you're comfortable with? Of course, Jesus taught generosity. He taught generosity big time. He also condemned oppression. Oppressing people, he condemned it. 